Hollywood party people. Seth Jarrett from Content Engine. On my way to a pitch meeting uh, at a studio, major studio, with a senior executive, pitching a project that I've been very passionate about. For a screenwriter, going into a pitch meeting, uh, they've often said that, you know, it takes a whole day with the drive there, the drive back, the prep, the memorization, what have you. And this is true. When you have pitch meetings, you really have to set yourself in the mind frame of that story. You have to reacquaint yourself every time, even though you know it well, with the story that you're going to pitch. Uh, and whether that's memorizing word for word, well, like some writers I work with uh, tend to do, they'll memorize their pitch the day of before they go into the meeting and they're refreshing their memorization each time. Uh, in my case, I like to keep it a little bit more loose. I have an outline, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm saying uh, or what I intend to say. It's just important for me to be able to cover each of the points. So. It is putting yourself in a creative and presentation headspace in order to pitch well. Uh, on another section of the site, I'm sure I'm going to have a podcast up soon uh, from Bob Cosberg, where I sit down with him and talk about the art of the pitch and also what it means to identify, develop, and sell great ideas. And Bob says, which I, which I uh, ascribe to this philosophy, you know, everyone's worried about their idea being stolen in Hollywood. Everyone's worried about, that thinks they have the best idea, that it's unique to them. The truth is, ideas are a dime a dozen. Even more than a dime a dozen. They're like a penny a dozen in Hollywood. Everyone has ideas. But the truly great idea, the truly high concept idea, the, the idea that cuts through all the clutter, gets people's attention, has people, enables people to visualize what the movie's gonna be, or the series, those ideas are one in a million, and they're worth a million bucks. Ideas are a dime a dozen, great ideas are one in a million. So on that note, when you're pitching your great idea, which you hope you have, just be sure to set aside time in the day before your pitch meeting to reacquaint yourself with your story, to get in the headspace of your pitch, to visualize yourself doing it, pitching it, and telling it well and then you'll be prepared and you'll be comfortable and you'll be relaxed, which is really what's important when going into these pitch meetings is to be at peace, to be at ease, uh, so you can really read the room and, and uh, make the pitch specific to the parties you're speaking to and take whatever information and kind of you know, pre-conversation you might have and fold that into what you're articulating. So that's my thought for the day. Hollywood Pitch Meeting 101. Look for the podcast with Bob Cosberg uh, later this month, and I will be talking at you. Thanks for listening.